it is officially Mother's Day now, but I can assure you that at 11.57, I had all of her, all of Julie's Mother's Day gift bought and packaged for morning. Now, you might say that I'm a bit of a pre-planner and, you know, I gave myself, you know, three minutes extra this year on getting my gift in order. But now, the time is 12.13. That's because, hmm, I want to clean up my mess from the bags that I purchased this evening and I had a hard time finding the camera. Otherwise, I probably would have took it with me when I went shopping tonight. But, I can give you a quick sneak peek on what you'll see in the morning. Well, for starters, she's going to start carrying on the tradition with a Whitman sampler. That's an old family thing that I used to do for my grandfather for many years, and my grandma, and even my mom. But, I think it's Julie's turn now. Next up, a new tumbler for her because, well, honestly, she can never have enough of these and she drinks water like a camel right about now being pregnant. So these are always good for her to have. Camping season is coming up and although she cannot participate with her wine just yet, by the time the baby comes, there'll still be plenty of summer left. So. I got her her own little wine container for when we go set our camper up. She has her own trial lemon tree. We're going to give this a little try this year, see how it works out. And I got her her very own, wait for it, whoa, look at that flower. Followed up with a new bag doubled as <clears throat> a gift bag and since she is always on the go chasing kids and working around the house I got her a few things I got her some different uh, bath soaking items a few different ones to try a little pamper face mask set so she can hopefully get a little relaxation one of these nights and also since she has her new little wine cup I went and purchased her some bubbly that she can consume. Some Thirsty Mama Cubic Zirconia. Sounds delicious. If she's not up for grape, then we have some, ooh, Irritated Apple Soft Cider. I don't know. We'll see how this will be. On this note, let's see what she has to say in the morning. I also purchased a few things for breakfast, so hopefully I can get up before her and the kids and maybe I'll get a few things going for breakfast. And I also purchased a few things to try and make dinner with, but I got a couple different options in store. So we'll see what she chooses and we'll go from there. Stay tuned for more Mother's Day. All right, it is now Mother's Day morning. She has awoken. Her coffee is going. That's all I needed. What time did you leave last night? Mm, about nine. I left at like nine o'clock and I don't even know what time we got home. <laughs> what time did she get home? I'm kind of a pre-planner. Now, you might say that I'm a bit of a pre-planner and you know, I gave myself you know, three minutes extra this year on getting my gift in Not order. A... Very cute. <laughs> yeah, where'd you get these? That's a secret. I can't give up. You are part water buffalo right now. <laughs> and that Why is so that you can use at the camper when we set it up. Good, because the one that I have is like, doesn't, it's, it's broken, the top is broke. Oh, you got me the blue ones. Your mom wanted to see them. She said she'd never seen them before. Mm-hmm. So 
chocolate. Yep, and a gift bag. <gasps> What's inside of it? Oh my gosh, honey. What? What's inside of it? <laughs> I really like is this that... bag. I'm going to use this as like a purse. Well, yeah, that's what it is. Where did you get it? <laughs> I got you a few things so you can take a bath. <laughs> what? Huh? I don't know why you say that. What's your favorite wine? What's your favorite wine? Thirsty Owl. <laughs> and what's that? Thirsty Mama. What, so what, what kind is Thirsty Owl? That's so funny. <laughs> so what's that she one? Cool. <laughs> 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 and what kind of uh, hard cider do you like? <laughs> Angry Orchard. Right? So what's that? Irritated Apple. <laughs> is it because I can't have them? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Nice, some face masks. Cool, honey. Wow, you outdid yourself. I really love this, like a lot. It's cute. Very nice. And now it is time to make breakfast. Okay. Thank you, honey. Paisley, can you say Happy Mother's Day? <laughs> Thank you. Of course, she's got a couple fruit snacks while she wakes for breakfast, huh? What then? Yeah, we're having bacon. Yeah. And eggs. And cinnamon rolls. Mama. Yes, Grandma's going to come sit. Mm-hmm. I love you. She woke up super happy. Door, door, door. Things are cooking me breakfast, honey. Okay, how's your bacon? Good. So thanks for cooking for me. You're welcome. Good morning. It is Sunday and it's Mother's Day today. And we are headed out on this dreary, dreary day. It's been raining and it's supposed to rain all day long. But we just made a Dunkin' run. Oh, Paisley, you need another one? So we are just on the road because we did not want to sit inside the house all day with it raining. It's supposed to rain like every single day this week except for Wednesday is the only day where they're not calling for any rain. Um, so yeah, we're gonna head out. We're gonna go to, I think, Tractor Supply. Maybe a couple other stores. Hey, West. Hi. Hi. Donuts. You got donuts. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Milk. Milk. What is it? Pie, pie. You wanna play with her? We'll play with her in the car, show me. Let me see. Do you know what the Barbie's name is? Her name is Belle. Look. Say Belle. Look. Oh, what do you got, Weston? Look. What Look. is it? Look. I see. Can you say what it is? It's open. Uh. Yeah? Mama got a pot for her lemon plant. You don't think this is too big, right, Ryan? I think it'll be good. It's kind of got like a sheen yellowness to it. I like it. <sighs> Long time, no vlog. It has been a very hectic, hectic day. Um, I basically, Weston threw a fit in the store to the point where I was crying, like in the car, because it was just really rough. Um, he finally got it together and got over the whole back of throwing a fit. Hi. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Um, but it was all over not being able to get a toy. Go ahead, babe. Yeah. Yes. So he threw a really bad fit 
in the store and Ryan took him out to the car and I went out to the car and I just started crying just because he was screaming. I was very overwhelmed and I'm emotional and pregnant and so yeah, that was fun. And then we, um, once he fully got it together, we went out to lunch with my parents and we went to Buffalo Wild Wings and that was good other than we waited. We were literally in the restaurant for two hours. So um, we just got home. It's, no, no, please don't touch. We just got home and we are just kind of settling down. I've got some sweats on just to be comfortable. And I'm trying to figure out where to put my lemon tree and my orchid. I don't love my orchid there. Um, I don't, I just don't like the placement of it. So I think I'm gonna put it on a different end table, but I need to figure out where to put this lemon tree because it's gonna be an indoor slash outdoor plant because in New York State you can't um, grow lemon trees outside all year round because it gets too cold. Where are we gonna put that tree, Paisley? Winky. But where are we gonna put mommy's lemon tree? Um, um, there. Right there, I don't think it's gonna work right there. We gotta find a new spot. Yeah. Will you help me? Okay, let's figure it out, come on. <laughs> so, right now, I am going to be painting our house sign. I got our house numbers here, um, just silver numbers and I'm going to put them on the sign after it's painted blue to match the doors. I think it'll really pull everything together and we also have shutters that are coming this week or next week, I think Ryan said, um, that we can put up on the house too and I'll be painting them this color blue. So everything is coming together. If you're wondering, I'm using the Gloss Royal Blue Rust-Oleum High Performance Protective Enamel. It's a good oil-based paint and it's good for outdoors. So that is what we're doing. All right, I just wanted to show you guys. We've got to put the door handle up on the storm door, but this is what the front door looks like. So for everybody that thought I was crazy for doing a bright blue door, I am absolutely obsessed with it. I think it looks so good. Dozer, watch out, buddy. I'll try to get the sunlight side. Close it for just a little. But I've got this beautiful wreath that I got. Um, and I think it's just such a beautiful color. I love it so much. So the other door is right here. This is what it looks like to kind of give you an idea against brick. I just am in love. I'm so in love with it. Ryan is fixing the dishwasher. It's been broken for a bit now. So he is fixing it up so that way hopefully it'll be working. Right, honey? Second time doing that. Mm -hmm. I put my lemon tree out here for now because this is good direct sunlight so hopefully it will do well out here until it warms up a bit more at home because right now it is just rainy and dreary and gross every day. I'm going to use this for my, I'm giving this for my. Yeah, Weston's doing his homework, huh? Because we have school tomorrow. This weekend flew by. Make sure you do it nice and slow. Work hard, okay? That's a good job. Try to go nice and slow. Take your time, okay? Good. Oh, slow down, bud. Nice job. Where's that whistle coming? Oh, my tea water is done. I'm gonna make a cup of tea to wake me up. Get it. I'll get it. Getting ready to open up a bottle of this sparkling grape juice <laughs> so I can go and enjoy a nice warm bath. Go hard, Papa. <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> a little strong? Yeah. <laughs> We're getting wild tonight with our sparkling grape juice. <laughs> All right, guys, I am gonna end the night here. I've got my sparkling grape juice. I'm about ready to draw a bath and relax for the night. I think I'm gonna use one of these things that Ryan got me. This one right here, relax. <laughs> um, bath salts and I'm gonna hit the hay after this. Today was a rough day with the kiddos. It was, some days are harder than others, but today it just seemed like the kids, especially Weston, was a little out of whack. 
he was crazy and it was just it was exhausting so i'm gonna end the night here and i hope all you mothers that are watching had a great mother's day and happy mother's day to you um even you dog moms i know you guys work just as hard with animals because we have two of our own so i know they're just as much kids in themselves <laughs> so anyway we're gonna end the night here and i will see you guys in our next one bye guys